Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of the Sky 1 Complete Etna Mode. Activate, that's what we're here doing. We are Etna Moding it up. And we're going to the Dimension Guide and we are going to hop right into the Sea of Gehenna's second area, the Wasteland of Woe. What will befall us there? I do not know. But there is a silence and an enemy boost 3x. And I don't like that very much. What's this one? Ooh, a 50% experience gain. Uh, kind of like that. 110. So basically the same kind of enemies that we faced off against before. Only... Yeah, they seem a lot more angry than they used to. Alright, so what I'm going to say we're going to do is probably bring out the bumpy and probably bring out the Arzla and then probably lift her up throw her over here I think we're just gonna toss these things out of the way really I don't see any other way of well I mean I, I do a fair amount of damage I feel like I just I would get myself killed if I do this wrong. Now we'll try it. All right, let's go with the wind cutter. It's not gonna be enough to kill them. I wish it was. I wish she did like you know just a medium amount more damage than she's doing. All right, star. How far can you? Oh, you're silenced. You can't. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll say Liara. We'll say Liara. And Leo. And then we'll say... Star. We'll lift up Star. We'll lift up Liara. We'll throw Liara. There we go, another diagonal toss. Like a boss. Alright. Eh, not quite a hundred. It was a diagonal one, but it wasn't my best diagonal throw. Uh, we're going to have to move her a little bit. I was hoping I could move her in a different direction, but there's not really a, a good way to get away with this, so. I'm going to go here with Omega Star. I'm hoping it's enough to cook these uh, shroom shrooms of doom. The shroomy doom dooms. And survey says it might be. I believe. I think Planair has a, a new gun. Maybe that's who I get. Yeah. So I believe that's who I gave my next big weapon to, was her. And indeed it is. That's exactly what has happened. Alright, I need Slade. And I need a Planair. We're gonna go ahead and lift the plein air. We're gonna go ahead and throw plein air way over there. Eh, again, not picture perfect, but it works. Uh, special Usagi. It will be enough. It'll kill the two. So we'll only have the one extra at this point. To deal with, to contend with, if you will. And what I would like to do from this is to eventually get it to where I can remove these two things, which I think I'll be able to do, and put on the XP 50%. If I destroy these, they stay red. Maybe maybe that's going to be the key. I don't know. We'll figure out what we're going to be doing here soon. Um, I think we're done with the throwing around and all that stuff, though. So I'm not sure who I need to put where, but yeah. Okay, I think that's it. We're just going to have those people out for now and see what happens. I assume folks will move. Okay, I actually expected more movement, and I expected this guy to react in some way. He did not. So that's a little bit strange to me. We're going to go with Omega Star just like that. I'll cook you too. a little nasty. A little bit. 
Okay, I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna go ahead and use Hurricane Slash. Execute. Not nearly enough, but pretty close. Alright. Gonna try the tri burst. Strongest this is the strongest weapon we have right now. And it wasn't enough. Ooh, that's that's unfortunate. Alright, we're gonna toss Bumby over there because we need him. To finish off what we started with another hurricane slash. Now everybody who's standing on the red panels is about to have a little bit of a bad day, but I think it's gonna be okay. Ooh, it didn't blow up the other one. That's okay. That is okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to throw it over here. And what we're going to do... We have Etna? We do. I'm going to lift Etna up. I'm going to throw her an extra far amount. A little bit, a little bit less than I was hoping, but not too bad. I don't think I can avalanche. Um, chaos impact. What about sexy beam? Hmm. We already threw with you. We'll probably move Leo over and get a, a decent one. Get Leo to move. Alright, Leo. Toss her on over. What if, instead of doing that, we move here? We'll get three of them with the Chaos Impact, right? Yeah, we just won't get the big guy with the flaming missing head. We got this. Look at that nasty damage. Oh, it wasn't enough. Ooh. Well, I'm going to put Andros away. And we're going to use... Uh, we use Zap. He's got an okay gun at this point, I believe. It wasn't great, but it was alright. He did something there. He got, he got some love. It's cool. Uh, anyone else? I mean, you can move slightly. That's that's really it. Alright. End the turn. Hope you guys are excited and ready and eager for a Disgaea 5 complete to release onto the PC. Because I've been waiting for that for so long and I believe it's finally happening sometime in October. Sometime like around the 18th or the 25th or something like that. So, last half of October good stuff really 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 looking forward to it i was very sad that i didn't have a ps4 at the time that sky of five did release and honestly i think it probably worked out a little bit better this way because i got to play disgaea one first and then disgaea two i wish three and four were also coming to pc before five but at the same time I hope they're all on PC or re-released for like the PS4 or what have you before they come out with a Disgaea 6 because I'd really love to play through the entire series before that happens. And I don't think I'm going to be content with just chilling at like uh, a very small amount done anymore. I want to really get into the deeper parts of the game because I think there's a lot there that I just miss out on probably a lot more of the fun stuff grinding the gear going through like item world level 100 and stuff like that i think that's going to be where a lot of the really really fun stuff happens so sure some of it will be quite i mean it's it's going to be grindy right like there's no way it couldn't be but i also think it's going to be a lot of fun so i i hope you guys are down with uh i'll skip some more of the extra grindy bits but you know seeing how all the new stuff plays out and if there's anything that I can't explain to you better that I, maybe I haven't explained at all or hasn't made sense to you yet, I will try to either explain it or to at least find a way to explain it. Like, look up the information and say, this is what I found, here it is. 
So hopefully, hopefully all that's appealing to you guys. Like I said, there's still a ton of stuff that I don't even understand about the first game, let alone the second game. And I can only imagine what innovation and new stuff that's going to be in the fifth game. Because I have no idea. I haven't looked up anything about the fifth game at all. So this guy of five is going to be just, it's probably going to be mind-blowing for me. I mean, this guy of one was pretty mind-blowing compared to the titles that I played in the past of strategy games like this. So, like, this was like, what? And then with uh, the Tower of Death stack attack thing in Disgaea 2, I was like, what? So there's lots of really cool stuff. And I feel like each game probably had some sort of innovative new thing that they added. So, like, I'm very interested. I'm very curious to see. Oh, there's a targeting height problem with that. That's not cool. What about if I do it from here? Looks like I can get away with it there. Looks like I got it. And done, I think. No, he lived. I don't know. Okay. All right, let's lift you up and throw you. There we are, rocking the diagonal tosses. I'm still not great. Like I can't precisely hit where I'm aiming for like that time I did, but it's not 100% guarantee. Like, I might be aiming for the corner, I'll be one off to the left, one off to the right. Oh, that's so weak. Really? Well, I'm gonna try to pin him in at least. That way he can't go anywhere. Um... We do have an entro so we can throw out over here. Let's try that. We'll go with the King of Beasts. Maybe it's enough damage. And bam. Yep. Very nice. Oh, things are starting to come and get angry and attack. I don't know. I think Katie's probably close to done. No, she's, she's okay. Leo's done, though. I was like, I scoff at you, nerd. Nerd! It's fine. Oh boy. Okay, so there's a whole pile of hatred coming. Um, she can probably Usagi drop a, a portion of them and then retreat. She moves pretty far. So I'm curious as to what like the higher level promotions do, because I I think about 101 is roughly one of the higher people that I've had. I think maybe Prince Laharl and the PC Let's Play that I did might be slightly higher level than that, but I, I can't remember. He's been a long time, so yeah, we'll have to see. A dried worm, that sounds yummy. I don't suppose we have anything that has no, no we don't. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna omnom it, because why not? Move you there, move you here. You took care of what you had to take care of. Move you there, and Etna! Hmm. It's not, well. Not exactly what I want to do, but I think it'll work. I'm pretty sure I can avalanche from here. Yeah, I'll land right back where Okay. Good, it's good. Coming down, doing some uh, damage. Bring them up, stab it, stab it, stab, stab, and back down. And then we squeak inside the chair, and it's feeling pretty good. But I am not sure what I want to do with you, so I'm probably going to put you back inside. On the turn. Let's see if they, yep, they're all going to train themselves to come after us. I believe Zap is gone. I don't think Planair is going to die to this. It definitely did not feel good, though. Special Usagi. Drop it. There's so many to kill. There's so many. 
we'll manage it. Alright, move there. Step over. Is there a targeting height discrepancy here? There is not. Please destroy all of them. I think you almost did. Alright, Gigastar the one. You can do it, I believe. Victory? Is that another level up for her? It doesn't look like it. At least not yet. Alright, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna try our winds. Yeah, our wind cutter. Okay. I feel like it didn't hit the third guy. Yeah, he didn't get hit by that. Why is that? He should have been hit by it. Triple strike you. One, two, three. Oh, he's super close to death. Move you there. I think Katie is going to want this kill. Special wind cutter, go! Very good. Alright, in the turn, who's next? Yeah, that's about right. She did. Arzla, thankfully, not dead. Almost dead, though. Jeez, that was a lot. No. Alright, we're gonna back up over here. I'm gonna move you here. Gotta get you to Usagi drop once more. Of course, the target's out of range, because why wouldn't it be? Try it from here because that's slightly more in range. There it is. Well, we're down to the final four. Down to the final three. We're down to the final one. Alright, I'm gonna do a hurricane, a slash. No, I'm not. I'm going to do a winged slayer after he moves. All right, special winged slayer. I have you go ahead and do your wind cutter. And then we're going to watch it play out. I think it might be enough damage to kill both. I think that'll be fairly close. I don't think it's enough. I just gonna have to come over and be like, here, poke! Nope, it was enough. Nice! Alright. We are ready. Let us see what your move is now, sir. I was... that... hmm. I am um, honest... Honestly, was not expecting that to be the move that you made. Surprising? Sure. Any good? Eh, questionable. Time to throw the bumpy down that way. Do the wind cutter. Come down here, also doing the cutter of winds. Possibly. Not the Cutter Winds, the Slayer of Winds. No. Okay. Can we do it this way? I imagine targeting height issue. Yup. Can we do it this way? Cutter. Yup. It's just nothing but issues. Alright. Fine. 
We'll try one final little stratagem here. We don't use our blade rush all that often. We'll throw that into the mix. See how it stays. See how it plays. See how it works. 1182. I'm gonna scoff at you. 1285. A little bit better. It's, notice it's a noticeable improvement. It's fine. Can we try burst? Looks like we can. One, two, three. Goodbye. Stage cleared. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't quite get to where I was hoping we'd get to for this particular episode, but we got through it, and that is okay. All right, I believe we're going to break it off right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>